So uh, what we call uh, speech segmentation is the fact that when we speak to um, infants, uh, we don't use uh, words in isolation, so we don't say uh, ball. What we are going to say is that we're going to use a sentence, so we are going to say, oh, like, uh, look at the ball. Uh, and so what the infant has to do is that he's going to have to cut the sentence uh, to find the words that make the sentence. There's a lot of uh, evidence now in uh, different languages, so in English, in German, in Spanish, in French, uh, in Catalan, um, that infants start um, uh, being able to find words in sentences around like six or eight months uh, of age. So uh, much before they uh, already start speaking, um, they already start to like, uh, learn the sounds of the words in their uh, native language. So uh, one thing that is very important for infants uh, is the uh, music of speech. So it's uh, intonation, it's rhythm, um, it's accentuation. And so, for example, in English, uh, most of the words start with an accentuated syllable. Uh, and so uh, we know that uh, already at eight months of age, infants are able to use this uh, information. And so when they hear a sentence, they're going to put um, a word boundary uh, before an accentuated uh, syllable. Uh, in French, uh, it's going to be uh, to work uh, differently because French doesn't have this uh, property. And so uh, what we think French infants do is that they cut uh, all the syllables uh, individually. And then what they are going to do is they are going to do some uh, statistical analysis uh, about the order of syllables in the sentences. And for example, they're going to find out that um, the syllable, uh, let's say, uh, bay is always followed by the, or is often followed by the syllable b. So they're going to find out that baby or baby in French is like a, um, a word in their, uh, in their native language. Uh, so as you can see, um, um, uh, word segmentation starts very early uh, in all languages. Uh, but the way infants are going to uh, find the words will differ like, depending on the language uh, they, are, they are learning. There are a few studies who have started uh, working on this question, um, uh, especially uh, in English and in uh, Dutch learning uh, infants. Uh, and what people found is that uh, the uh, infants who uh, seem to do better in the, when we look at their ability to find words like when they're very young, so around like eight months, ten months, uh, are the infants who are going to have the larger vocabularies uh, a few years later, so at two years, at three years. And so um, this means that um, this ability to find words in sentences is very uh, crucial because if you don't have that, then what you hear is a long uh, sequence of syllables and so you don't know where the words are and it's going to be much more difficult to uh, understand it, the meaning of the sentences. Um, so it doesn't explain everything, of course. Uh, there are many other factors that are going to uh, play a role, but it does have a um, um, uh, significant effect uh, on uh, later language acquisition.